Circle Museum here at FDR Park. I've been parking in this park for many, many years and hanging out in this park. I've never been in this museum. What goes on in this museum? I don't know. But in a few hours, not only will I know what goes on in here, but you will too. So if you want to go to the American Swedish Historical Museum, give me a oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! This whole room just talks about the history of how uh, Swedish settlers came to America in the uh, 1600s, right? Made it. These are carpenter braces, and uh, like this is how they made log the cabins. These are tools, and they're all from 1626, 400 years ago. Uh -uh. And they would use those tools to build one of these guys. a land deed from 1698 and if you look who signed it John Rambo uh -oh. this is called the pioneer room uh, it's supposed to look like a 19th century Swedish farmhouse um, that was pretty cool little chandelier is that i guess that's what that's called but this is stuff that they would have inside a swedish farmhouse the bricks in that fireplace were actually brought over from sweden in uh, the 1640s i thought that was interesting nice little clock there and the uh, the ceilings painted you know that's a lot of a lot of houses we don't paint the ceilings uh they did good for them this kind of looks like the Stations of the Cross, but some people are dressed like Jesus' time, and then some of the people are wearing suits. So I thought this was kind of interesting. Look, see that guy's wearing a suit, and he's stabbing Jesus. I don't think that's how it went. Uh, and look, there's angels. I don't know, I thought that was neat. And before you go in the Pioneer Room, they have this poster of the Pippi Longstockings movie. I'm like, what the hell is this for? And it turns out this was like a whole Pippi Long stocking uh, themed room. Look, there's some like Ikea toys to play with. And uh, yeah, apparently the girl who made, uh, or the woman who made Pippi Long stockings was Swedish. Who knew? I didn't. That's the king of Sweden. And this room is a map of the size of Sweden back in the 1638. This is a deed from 1288. That's a, that's so old. Look at all the thing in the box. I'm going to butcher this name. The Kongshong was launched in 1928, the same year they opened this museum, and was one of the first ocean liners decorated in the Art Deco style. And there's an entire room celebrating 300 years of Scandinavian glasswork. This is Frederica Beamer. She was a Swedish novelist and an advocate for women and human rights. And I think this is supposed to be a representation of what her living room would look like. These are some of the books she wrote. And uh, there's a mold of her hand that she wrote the books with. There it is. This is the Jenny Lind room. I don't know, did you ever see The Greatest Showman? with uh, Hugh Jackman. There's, he gets a, a singer from Europe who he's never heard and he signs her up to a contract to sing. And, you know, he, he, did, he paid her a ton of money and didn't hear her voice. He her to a contract without hearing her. I guess that's what I'm saying. So anyway, this is the girl. This is the woman who uh, P.T. Barnum. And if you look, 
I'm a big fan of P.T. Barnum, so I'm <laughs> right there, that ticket. If I can zoom in, it's signed by P.T. Barnum. I would start to see her in concert. $5 in 1850. Good Lord, is that seem like And uh, these are sunglasses that she gave to Captain James West. And she was a big time star. They had like cigar boxes made with her. And I guess, you, could, you know, they didn't have posters back in the day, but you had ceramic statues. This mirror is her. There's some more pictures of her. And this is a, uh, a bust of her. Great showman, it's a really good movie. There's a cast of her hand. That's pretty deep. Oh, 1850 fingernails. They were, uh, they kind of look like today's fingernails. She was even on a $50 bill. They have a few paintings on display from American Swedish artists, and they also have some furniture on display, some of it as old as the 1700s. Not this chair, that's from the 1900s. This is from the 1700s. This is John Erickson, and he was the first person to successfully invent and install a twin screw propeller. This mural shows you a meeting he is having with the war cabinet of Abraham Lincoln. Well, that's it. That's my trip to the American Swedish Historical Museum. Oh, look, I got another cannon over here. Admission to the museum was 10 bucks, and I was in the museum for about two hours, and I was the only person in the museum besides employees. Uh, Make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll sail with you later. Oh, uh, yeah. That's Swedish for goodbye. Toodles!